And yeah, coming up slowly. That's really, oh, oh my God, no. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Drive. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna to be further testing the autopilot safety and ABS safety systems. Today I've actually gone and got this blow up doll that I have to have put clothes on because otherwise it wasn't appropriate for the video. Uh, so it's about a child size, which is perfect. And we're gonna test it out because last time we used the penguin and it wasn't sure if the penguin was a person or if it was uh, a bin bag or a cone or whatever. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive down this road several times and we're gonna put the little uh, kid doll in separate areas and we're going to see how the car reacts in every scenario. So this one here, the car technically can go around it. I'm going to drive this at 15 miles an hour to start off with. If we hit into her, then you know, we hit into her, I guess. That's just unfortunate. But let's let's see what the car's going to do at 14 miles an hour. My hands are completely off. This is private road as well, by the way. And it thinks it's a cone. It didn't even show her as a human. It just thought it was a cone. Now that really surprises me because if we have a look at, if we actually have a look at this uh, human, there is no way that that is a cone. Let's just, just go up closer to it. It's got shoes on, it's got hair. <laughs> it genuinely thinks it's a cone, how interesting. There's no way the car can mistake that as not a person. That is so clearly a person. Uh, yet you can see it's picked up a person now early on and I'm just gonna let the car do what it wants. Now, because this is just obviously a blow up doll. Oh, it thinks it's a car. It might be a bike. It thinks it's a, a oh, it's not 100% sure. It definitely knows there's something there. It's come to a complete stop. Yeah, it's definitely a person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly accelerate at it. And we're just gonna see what the car does. Oh, oh, oh no, we run her over. Oh no, is she popped? Please say she hasn't popped after one go. Are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Let's try to get up to 30 miles an hour and we'll see how the car deals with it this time. Autopilot on, 25 miles an hour instead. And yet, yeah, coming up slowly. That's really, oh, oh my God, no. Wow. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> let's just see how long this goes on for. Okay, a long time apparently. So basically what happened there was the car actually got a little bit confused whether it was a person or not. It slowed right down and then right at the end, you saw it change values here. It changed to a car, to a person. It's now as a bike. And what it did is it actually showed nothing, continued to drive forward and then the ABS, the automatic braking on the car slammed on at about 20 miles an hour threw everything in the car forward and saved this little girl's life. After looking at this clip in post as well, I've noticed one thing. The car seems to think this is a full-size adult and then at this point here it shows a car in front of it and then all of a sudden it shows a person very very close to it so what i'm thinking here is the car is getting confused about the size of the human and because it's a child because it's smaller it actually thinks it's a taller adult further away and that's why it didn't break so hard at the start but then if you look as soon as it shows the car it shows another person in front and it realizes oh this person's really really close the abs then sees the person come up on its ultrasonic sensors and says we have have to slam on so i think this may be a vision problem i'm not 100 percent sure let me know your thoughts down below in the comments now this is a test loads of people wanted me to do in the last video but i didn't do it because i didn't want to damage my car um because i would have been driving into jeremy clarkson with a coal bag because we we're using a, a coal bag to hold him up but this time i'm going to be able to drive at this kid i'm going to pretend i'm not looking at this point and we're going to drive at her at 15 miles an hour and will the car stop or not i've got my foot on the accelerator will the car stop incredible oh my god i have never felt that before but guys that that was insane this time i put a camera outside as well so hopefully you can see from that angle i'm gonna go at 20 miles an hour this time and i'm gonna accelerate and i'm not gonna let let off and yet again, we've had the exact same problem happen, but this time it's shown that it's gonna hit the child and break as much as it can to reduce the impact as much as it can. Look closely at the screen here. You can see that even though the child is pretty close, it looks like a full grown adult on the screen and it's further away. But in a few seconds, that's gonna disappear and it's gonna all of a sudden appear really close, red, slam on your brakes, that is a small person close. That is not someone big far away. You can see it does as much as it can to slow it down and it hits her at 10 miles an hour, which really isn't good. So hopefully this is just gonna go around her here with no problems. Autopilot on at 17 miles an hour. It isn't showing anyone on the screen yet, as you can see. 
but it should be able to go around her without touching her. And that's exactly what it's done. Absolutely no problem. We're gonna try the 30 mile an hour test here. So she's really far down the track. As you can see, we're gonna get autopilot on. We're gonna put autopilot up to 30 and let's see how the car reacts. Again, nothing touching here. I'm not touching it at all. The car has come and brakes perfectly. And then sadly, it's accelerated over her. See, I don't understand why it does that. It knew that that was a person. It actually said it was a human or a human on a bike, yet it still continued to go over her. And I just, I just don't understand why. It stopped down to basically zero, but then it continued to fly on. I was really hoping that it would have stopped. And then if it tried to continue again, the ABS would have slammed on like it did last time, aborted everything and said, hey, there's a human there. Here we go at 30 miles an hour. Will the car stop for it or will it go straight through? I'm a little bit nervous because this is going to be a hell of a stop if it thinks it's a person. Oh, it did. Oh, so you saw that it said automatically emergency braking, but then for some reason it didn't brake and it just kind of went through. So I took my foot straight off the accelerator pedal, which is what slowed it down to here. But weirdly enough, it didn't actually fully break. It thinks there's an arrow there as well. Oh, I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I'm not too happy with the results that we're getting if I'm being totally honest. I actually didn't want this uh, to run her over at all today, but as you can see from that, it's not a pretty sight. And that brings me to the rather serious topic of this video. I was pretty surprised by the inconsistency that we had here with the autopilot and with the automatic braking system. I honestly didn't expect the car to run over this doll. I know that it is a doll, but it's a 3D doll. It's very clearly a person. I even dressed it in my daughter's outfit, so it looked as much like a human as possible. And there's no way a human would not be able to see that and say, that's a person I need to stop. And we were really surprised to get some just strange results. The car thought it was further away and then realized it was closer and that did some damage sometimes it slammed on and broke perfectly it's just flawless and that was great sometimes it thought it was a bike and that's not really a problem if it thinks it's a bike as long as it sees it's a person and it boards and it stops you that is what you want but towards the end we got some pretty inconsistent results it didn't stop at all a couple of times did some serious damage and i think really needs to be looked into the biggest flaw i can see is that it thinks the item is further away than it actually is and then when it gets close to it it panics realizes how close and slams everything on or just sometimes doesn't because it's too late Maybe LiDAR would help there. Who knows? Let me know your comments and thoughts down below in the comment section. This is a real serious topic and I'd actually love to know what you thought about this and whether you thought it was going to hit this blow a doll at all. Let me know down below. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Dislike it if you didn't. Until next time, thank you for watching and shout out to all my patrons. Don't forget, drive safe.